going on guys? I wanted to take a couple minutes to share a couple of my favorite resources with you. As you can see on the screen, uh, the, that is the list of things I'm going to be covering. EXRX, Bodybuilding.com, Muscleman Fitness, Guinness World Records, Gym Flow 100, and a couple sites where you can buy fresh produce. In the beginning, this first website, exrx.net. I don't remember how I found this website. I'm glad it did, though. I found this site about 10 years ago when I was starting to learn more about exercise, human anatomy, and nutrition. This website gives you a lot of information in a very simple and easy to grasp format. They have exercises, GIFs of uh, examples for a lot of a lot of exercises, nutrition advice and information, calculators if you want to find a percentage of your one rep max, for example, and plenty of other information. What I want to show you really quick is exercise. These are all the options you have on this website for things to look into. Weight training, exercise examples, cardio machine, stretches, plyometrics, and then they have human anatomy. Keep going, they break it down by exercises and muscles. So I'm going to go to back and I'm going to choose bent over row. As you can see, it's a small GIF giving you a good example as to how it looks or proper form. Then they give you some information how to prepare for it, how to do it right, and the comment section where many times have a lot of tips, hints, maybe different ways of doing the exercise to work different muscles in different ways. And then they classify it. Is it basic? Is it a compound or isolation uh, force? Is it pull or push? And then they go into the muscles. What's the target? Back, general. Okay. Synergists, other muscles that are also work. And then stabilizers and antagonist stabilizers. I like this website because. I can always come here and if I feel like I need to try a different exercise, I can come to this website and browse their inventory for something different. If I'm always doing a lot of bent over rows with barbells, I can come here and look for something with maybe dumbbells or cable machines, maybe my body weight or suspended or I can come down here find something more specified toward my lats pull downs pullovers something for my traps different types of shrugs variations I use this website a lot when I was starting out to help me Build a lot of inf build a lot of the information that I have now in regards to exercises and the right way of doing things. As I want to show you also from the exercise and muscle directory, it also gives you a lot of information about how the muscles work. It can get real scientific. Let's say the biceps. It shows you the different uh, muscle heads. What do they do? How? give you a little scientific wording about it I recommend this website to anyone that's working on their own workout plans and trying to work on building workout programs for yourself other people different goals endurance strength muscle mass I've always used this website since I found it Bodybuilding.com. If you do not know anything about bodybuilding.com, 
excuse me. What I will say is it's not just for bodybuilders. This website is for anyone that's doing anything with fitness. Much like exrs.net, bodybuilding.com takes it to another level. They have many videos, a lot of them. They have a community where people who are working on goals, pursuing goals, becoming trainers. There are professional athletes up here. IFBB, I think. Certified uh, fitness athletes. They're on this website in the community section. They also have training articles. They have a store. And if I'm not mistaken, a couple of actively serving guys I know of when I was deployed, they use bodybuilder.com because I think they offered a discount or free shipping while we were deployed. So wanted to show you if you don't know anything about bodybuilder.com, check it out. They have plenty of different sections for men, women, beginner, advanced. If you're into powerlifting, if you're into endurance, you're trying to prove for a specific sport, if you're trying to get information for the best way to use certain supplements, a lot of that stuff is here and they give you a lot of down in the grit reviews, information, and a lot of studies also much like one of my favorite magazines muscle and fitness as a teenager muscle and fitness was the one magazine I always had nearby I was always subscribed to I was always reading on because they always had studies and conclusions to help you build a better understanding of how your body works in regards to sleep what which exercise between the bent over row or the pull up works the lats the most activates the most uh, muscle fibers they have stuff like that in every issue and they'll also interview people almost every just about every issue they'll have athletes actors service members Anyone that's doing something fitness related, any section or field that you can think of, they've probably had someone from that field in, interviewed within that magazine at some point in time. I'm not going to say much about it. They have a great magazine. I would say check them out. Check out their Facebook. Subscribe for their newsletter or consider subscribing for their magazine Guinness World Records I know it seems pretty random the reason I'm gonna bring this up is because many people like to challenge themselves with various types of goals if that's you believe it or not there are plenty of fitness fitness records in the Guinness World Records website that you can look to break you can see Carlton Williams break his own record for the most push-ups in one hour there are plenty of records like that in Guinness World Records I'm gonna click explore records you see many options I'm gonna press the elderly lady that's doing a lever that I can't even do I don't think browse records and because I probably have someone as big in a CrossFit here yes there is a record for most muscle ups most muscle ups most consecutive muscle ups all right who mr. Jared Rubenstein he did 25 reps He's from Sydney, Australia. He did this January 4th, 2010. Now a little bit of information as to how the Guinness World Records submissions work. You can press this button right here to ask you to register because you don't do anything anywhere without registering and giving your uh, PII. There's two ways you can do it. You can do the free submission where they take between 
three to five months and that's not just a guess I know this because I'm waiting on a couple right now myself or you can do the paid submission where you pay I don't remember how much but it was enough where I wasn't going to do it and they will expedite your request once they receive your request if they accept it you have to tell them who you are where you are what are you looking to break why what are you looking to do this in the name of you know you have are you doing this in the purpose of bringing attention to a specific cause a brand you, you put that in there and that helps with them with their headline for later on and whenever they accept it they give you a lot of paperwork and everything you need to do to successfully verify that you've broken that record you send them a video from different angles and a lot of other stuff or I'll scroll down if you are one of those guys that like doing something crazy there's the challenger section challenges that Guinness World Records and people upload videos and themselves doing all types of random things there was at one point in time a big thing where people were trying to see how many three-pointers they can make in a minute or foul shots how many saltine crackers you can eat without you know, spilling stuff I think without drinking water or stuff like that you see ring pools open there's a it's a lot of interesting stuff up here just just a little thought all right gym flow 100 I am bringing attention to this Facebook group because this group is very I'm not going I don't want to say simply professional because people have fun in here but people motivate each other here people will post pictures of themselves during exercises or their progress and for the most part everyone is very uplifting and motivating towards everyone if someone disagrees many many times you know sometimes some people get pat get too passionate they don't control themselves and sometimes can get a little out of hand but that doesn't ha at, I don't see that often here in this group and I've been a part of this group I think for a couple months and I really enjoy sharing information and learning from people who have different goals other than myself excuse me if you're into fitness if you're reading this you should consider joining this group you're not gonna get a lot of crazy unnecessary stuff you won't be wasting your time I really don't think you'd waste your time you can scroll for a couple seconds down here and you'll see a couple jokes and every once in a while someone will send send up a video this guy's doing muscle ups and he was doing them well to say the very least alright so I'd say check that out Jim Flow 100 it's the Facebook Facebook group alright these last three pages these sites the only reason I keep these is because sooner or later I'm I felt like these sites could help someone a lot more than it's helping me right now I bookmark these sites just because I think they're good sites to have I haven't found anyone that I know of that can benefit from these sites much but maybe that's one of you the first one broken ranch break broken arrow ranch blah all three of these sites are just about the same you can buy fresh produce meat salmon deer cuts all of that stuff I know nothing about these sites all I know is what I'm looking at and reading right now alright brokenarrowranch.com check it out they got wild game sausages boar cuts uh, yes alright second one 
fossilfarms.com. They have rabbit, partridge, turtle, wild boar, antelope, alligator, the alligator. All right, and marchfoods.com. They have salmon, which is awesome because I love salmon. And I think these three websites can help a lot of people that do, that prefer and are able to do their own cooking and are very creative in, in, in nutrition. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you had any questions, comments, concerns, felt as if I should have added something, you have something to say regarding anything I've said in this video, feel free to drop a comment below, share your information. All right, guys, have a good day. Take it easy. Go live life.